Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is Walmart announces Center of Excellence results. And this comes from the 2019 Health HLTH conference. I made a previous video about another announcement at this conference. And they've got a ton of their talks on YouTube, so I highly encourage you to watch them. And this in particular one is by Lisa Woods, who's the Director of Benefits for Walmart, and Mar Marcus Osborne, one of her executive colleagues there as well. And this talk is amazing. It is entitled, The End of Provider Entitlement. Isn't that a provocative name for a talk? Provider Entitlement. Now, it starts off with a video of Sam Walton, from 1991 with his trucker hat on a Saturday morning Walmart meeting talking about how he asked for the price of an MRI in 1991 and he couldn't get it. And then eventually when he did get it, he found out how much he was being overcharged by the hospital. And then he has the best line ever. He says, look, they're killing us. By they, he means the hospitals. He says they're killing us. And then he says, look, if we don't get this fixed this year, I'm going to be real upset. I mean, real upset. In 1991, he wanted this fixed in a year. In 1991, 30 years ago. And this is where we are today. I mean, just, I mean, just watch it for that part. It is so amusing. It is fantastic. Okay, now, keep in mind, the Walmart Health Plan has a million plan members. Okay, so if you divide that by two, because that's a typical ratio of subscribers to plan members, then that means that's half a million or 500,000 subscribers. Average cost about $10,000 per year per subscriber. That if you do the math on it, that means that Walmart spends $5 billion a year on healthcare, okay? That healthcare spend alone would make it the 540th largest company on the Fortune 1000, okay? It's almost a Fortune 500. Walmart's healthcare spend alone is almost a Fortune 500 company. Now, in it, Lisa and Marcus, Miss Woods and Mr. Osborne, they call out doctors, they call out hospitals, they call out their own insurance carriers, they call out employer coalitions, they say we are done with coalitions. All they do is add bureaucracy and slow us down. We are done. Okay? Now, Lisa Woods then goes on to talk about their Center of Excellence program results starting in minute 7 and 47 seconds. And she says, look, we've had these Center of Excellence programs going back for uh, 20 years. They go for transplant spine, joint replacement, cancer, and bariatric surgery. And she announced some very interesting results. So, for spine, when they have a, a Center of Excellence second opinion, 50% of the time their associates are told that they do not need the spine surgery. Half the time. Now, Readmission rates, if they actually do need surgery, are 95% less at the center of excellence versus the other hospitals on their plan. The return to work rate is three weeks sooner at the center of excellence hospital versus the other hospitals on their plan. Next, for joint replacement, 20% of their associates, when they go to one of these center of excellence, are told that they do not need a joint replacement, and their readmissions after that joint replacement are 70% less at a center of excellence versus another hospital system on their plan. Next, bariatric surgery, which is weight loss surgery, gastric bypass, etc. Okay, there is a 70% decrease in their drug spend for people that have bariatric weight loss surgery. Now for cancer, they have a program where they send the slides and test results to the Mayo Clinic, and then if the Mayo Clinic thinks that they're necessary to see them in person, they ask to see them in person, because certainly you don't want to see everybody in person if you don't need to. So it ends up happening that a third of the folks that go for this second opinion program at the Mayo Clinic actually end up needing to travel there. Of those folks that do travel there, 55% of the time there's a change in the, di in the treatment plan. Okay, and 10% of the time, there's a change in the diagnosis. So, she, so Lisa Woods literally says that associates are told at the community hospital they have cancer, and then when they go to the Mayo Clinic, they are told that they do not have cancer. They have some other disease that might look like cancer, but it is not cancer. Okay, you wanna talk about a variability in quality. I mean, what this really is, is really a condemnation of the community doctors and hospitals that the vast majority of their employees see. They, Walmart, are saying that, look, the treatment at these centers of excellence isn't just a little different. It is vastly 
vastly different than the community hospitals. Okay, and really they end their talk with, listen, the gloves are off, okay? They are very serious in this talk. They uh, make no bones about it. They're like, look, Walmart is, is on a mission. I mean, I feel like it's that scene from Braveheart where Mel Gibson like lifts up his fist and says, freedom, okay? They are on a mission. And previously in these videos, I have said that improving healthcare is not an issue of skill. It's an issue of will. And by the judge of this talk, I will tell you, Walmart seems to have the will. And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.